Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. In today's show, I'm going to teach you how to unclog your kitchen sink using household items in simple and easy steps. Let's get the show rolling. So hey guys, I'm Pan, and on today's show, a DIY step-by-step -step of how to unclog your drain. I've had a discussion with my plumber recently, and he told me that it's not always necessary to have a plumber over to unclog your drain. You can actually go ahead and do so yourselves with simple household items that you probably already have. Two ingredients are needed. You need a baking soda and you need white vinegar. Many of you might be tempted to unclog your drain using a plunger. Well, that can partially unclog it. However, don't forget that your drain is normally coated with a bunch of gunk and grease and all the stuff that goes down there over time. So to loosen that up, you need a chemical reaction, some sort of a foaming chemical reaction. And that's why we have vinegar and baking soda. So you'll see how easy these steps are. You're gonna be done in a matter of minutes. Hey, by the way, if you guys like my videos, don't forget to take a second and subscribe to my channel to be able to have access to more awesome content. If you guys use my simple DIY to unclog your drain and it works, let me know in the comment section down below. So step number one is gonna be to pour one pot of boiling water down the drain. Step number two is gonna to be to pour one cup of baking soda also directly down the drain, and you're gonna to wanna to let that sit for roughly five to 10 minutes. Step number three, you're gonna add one cup of white vinegar and you're gonna pour that down the drain as well. There will be a chemical reaction between the baking soda and the vinegar, but no worries, that's needed. There's gonna be a lot of foaming action going on, kind of like when you were young and doing those science experiments in a volcano, remember that? Baking soda, white vinegar, boom. So you're gonna let that mixture do its thing for another five to 10 minutes. Step number four, you're gonna add another pot of boiling water down the drain. So last and final step, step number five, you're gonna run hot tap water for five minutes just to make sure that everything in the drain is properly flushed away. So that's it guys, you saw how easy that was. In a couple of minutes, you guys will have unclogged drains and you'll thank me for it. If you enjoy my videos, take a second and subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments and questions in the comment section down below. Check out more DIY videos just like this one on my channel. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you guys on the next one.